Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Dwayne YGT Us. For all my newcomers, I welcome you guys to the channel. For all my OG YGT Hustlers, welcome back. And for all my viewers that haven't subscribed but still watch the channel, still watch the video, we appreciate you. We ask that you guys consider liking the video and subscribing. Click that little bell icon to be the first to get notified when we release new videos talking about whether it's um, Navy Federal or other credit card or even making money on eBay, Poshmark, Amazon. And that's where all my income is coming from, not YouTube. But I'm sharing my information, sharing the journey and what you can do to follow. Today's video, we're going to talk about why Navy Federal Credit Union froze my account what the question they asked me, what did I say to them to get my account back and what you should not do to avoid getting into this situation. So recently I got up to log into my Navy Federal account and when I go to log in, it says, please call Navy Federal Credit Union. I then tried to log into my mom account and also got the same message. So I pick up the phone and I decided to call Navy Federal speak to a rep to find out what was going on. They said my account was frozen due to activity that is against their terms of service. So they started to ask me a couple questions like, who and who have my password? They see where three different phones, I was logging into my account from three different phones and also two different computer, which is the computer in my office and the computer in my house. So um, they want to know how many people have my password. I told them no one had my password. They asked me about my mom account. Why is my mom account been logging to on the same phone? And that is against terms of service, which means I have my mom account. So they also froze my mom account. And I explained to them my mom is not tech savvy. So usually she asks me to either deposit or check into the Navy Federal Credit Union or whatever activity she have going on. She asked me to check upon it and the rep let me know that is against terms of service that cannot happen so that's why they froze the account along with a few activity um i also have my poshmark account which i use primarily for savings so whatever money i make on poshmark i usually just make it go straight into navy federal credit union as a savings and that's against terms of service they said i cannot mix um, a business account uh, money with a personal account. So just to round this video up, because I want to make it real short, as I said, I'm sitting in my car. You cannot mix any form of money coming from whether it's eBay or whatever business you have going into Navy Federal personal account. That's against terms of service. You cannot give anyone your password. I don't care if it's your wife, your husband, your cousin, your niece, your nephew, whoever it is, they cannot know your password. As per the rep, that is against terms of service. No one's supposed to know your password but you. Um, also, you cannot, um, I don't want to say you cannot, but it sends a red flag to the system if you're logging into your account from different, different devices, which is what I was doing. Okay, I have my personal phone, which is what I usually log into, and I also set it up on my business phone, which I log into sometime too. And I, like I said, I have the computer in the office where I'll check up on, or I have the computer in my house where I'll log into, and that sends a red flag to their system, and that's how they end up frozen my account to call me, not call me, but send a message when you try to log in for you to call them and find out what's going on, and then tell you that is against terms of service based on the activities them that I was doing, um, like logging into my mom account. I always log into my mom account because like I said, my mom is not um, tech savvy. So I basically do everything for as far as online banking goes. And that is against terms of service. I'm not allowed to have my mom password. Okay, and because of that, they froze the account. So um, if you guys are making other people log into your account and you end up getting this message, make sure you tell navy federal that that is your phone okay or that is your computer you cannot say i ask somebody to log into my account to check anything because that is against terms of service and they will freeze your account and then not only that's going to freeze your account but if you are getting to if you get into navy federal credit union the way i did like true roommate then they're gonna ask you how long you know this person how long you live with this person it's a whole bunch of questions and i have to be on the phone begging them not to take my account away from me because i didn't read the terms of service and i went ahead and do things that i wasn't supposed to do that's against their terms of service 
So it ended up getting my account frozen and I have to beg to get my account back. So if you guys out there have Navy Federal Credit Union, this is a lesson, okay? I don't know anyone out there that's talking about these things. But keep in mind, these are things you cannot do when it comes to Navy Federal. They are very strict with it. And if you want to keep your account, try to avoid doing the mistakes them that I did. This is why I'm sharing this information with you guys to let you guys know that my account was flagged because of this. And the rep said, this is the reason why we are freezing your account. You are not allowed to share your password to anyone. You are not allowed to have your business money flown into your account. Because like I said earlier in the video, I use Poshmark. Whatever money I'm making on Poshmark, I don't use it. I save it into a Navy Federal saving account as an investment account. So when I want to make an investment, I'll pull the money from there to make an investment. I don't use the money coming in from Poshmark. I usually use the money from eBay or Amazon. I will save the money from Poshmark and Navy Federal let me know this is against terms of service. You cannot do that. You have to open up a business account. Now, since then, I, I then turned around and opened up a business account, which that takes a long process. That's around 45 minutes to an hour being on the phone with them trying to open up a business account. But at the end of the day, it worked it. You want to open up a business account if that's the banking system you want to use. Sometimes that could be a little bit difficult, simple because I live in New York. I'm not next to a Navy Federal Credit Union branch. So it makes it a little bit difficult when it's time for me to get shipment. If I'm going to get a shipment that cost me a couple of thousand and the guy don't want to take a check or whatever it is, it becomes a problem. So my business account, I use Chase right now just because I have easy access to just go into a branch and get the cash I needed if I need cash. Um, and I've not have to worry about where am I going to find in a bank to get the money out if I need it. And that's the problem I have with Navy Federal. Okay, I don't have none of the branch or the sister branch near me where I live in New York. And that's why I used Chase and then I didn't want to open up a business account with them. But I did open up a business account with them. I did get a business credit card from them, which is 16000 I was hoping to get 25000 but I'm grateful for the 16000 because I have several credit cards with um, Navy Federal. I have three credit cards with Navy Federal. I think that's the maximum you're allowed to get with them is three cards. Plus you could go over to the business side and get a couple cards. So take this as a lesson, learn from my mistake. Don't make the same mistake I make. Don't share your password. Don't log on to your account with a whole bunch of devices, especially if someone else in your house is already using that device. If other members in your house is using your computer, um, I forgot to ask them if that would be a problem if other members in the house is using um, the same computer to check their account, but they mostly was talking about the phones. It, that's the primary device they was talking about and asking me question about. And good thing for me, I deny giving anyone my password and I just let them know this is my phones. I have three phones based on the business. So, and I have Navy Federal account set up on all of my phones. If you watched the video until this point, I want to thank you for sticking around. Please remember to like, um, share the video, subscribe. Until next time, I catch you.